I can take this one item and style it five different ways. How is that possible? Because it's a timeless basic and most people's wardrobe looks like something out of a Wreck-It Ralph movie. No, well, yeah. And they wonder why they got nothing to wear. So what is a timeless basic? The word timeless means not affected by the passage of time or changes in fashion. Meaning that an item should be able to stand the test of time and still be cool 30 years from now. An example of a timeless item would be like a well-tailored suit, a black t-shirt, or a blue pair of jeans. Something that was cool 80 years ago and is still cool today. Now basic in a fashion sense is something that is simple and unabashed. Obtrusive. An example of this would be like a white t-shirt or a black jacket, not a graphic tee. Now, when you combine the two, then you can create any outfit your heart desires. And even if you want to add a more flamboyant piece and throw that on top, it's still gonna work. Now that we understand what they are, let's get to the items that you actually need to build a timeless wardrobe. So firstly, you'll want an array of black and white t-shirts. Ideally, you'll want some slim fit ones for your more sophisticated outfits. And then if you're a more streetwear guy, you can get your relaxed fit ones. The best place to get these are obviously you Uniqlo. Uniqlo is the goat for t-shirts. Next, you'll want to pair a blue denim jeans with no f***ing holes, all right? This isn't 2017. You're not Kanye West. <laughs> I'm just joking. Not really. A well-fitting pair of denim jeans is something that everyone should have as it's a casual staple in your wardrobe. This is something that you only typically need to replace two to three times in your life. So get one that you really like and one that's great quality. Places to buy jeans are Levi's, Koss, Zara, Arquette, Gap places like that. Next, you'll want a pair of black pants because these are the most versatile pants in your wardrobe. Get something that has belt loops and not a drawstring. So if you ever want to tuck in your shirt and throw on a belt, you'll have a much cleaner look. And if you decide to style it casually, it doesn't matter because you're not gonna see them. For getting nice black pants, I suggest looking at River Island or Zara. They've got some really nice cuts for pants. And the last pair of pants you'll need is a cream or khaki pair of pants, especially now that we are in the fall season. These are the colors to be wearing. Once again, you can get all of these pants at the exact same place that I mentioned last time. Moving upwards, you'll 100% need a white, crisp Oxford shirt because at one point in your life, you're gonna have to take off that stupid hoodie and you're gonna dress up. <laughs> that being said, it doesn't hurt to have a more relaxed fit one in your arsenal as well so that you can layer over a tank top in the summer months. And in terms of where to find it, every single store in the world has white Oxford shirts. Just find one that you like and that fits well. Now, since we're talking about the more dressy side of things, you'll also need a polo because you're not always going to be able to wear a long sleeve or it's gonna be a bit too hot. In terms of what style to get, I really like like the ones from Abercrombie, the sweater polos. I just love their designs. I think they just look so much better. They're not as old man-ish as well. <laughs> now moving on to sweaters, you'll definitely need a knit sweater or a wool sweater. These look so much better than your typical crew neck sweaters and come in an array of different textures, which makes it that perfect layer to throw underneath to elevate your outfit. In terms of where to buy the best knits, I find Abercrombie's got really good ones and Arkit also has some really nice wool pieces as well. Now, as for a hoodie, I would say that the best colors to go for is gray and in terms of fit i really like the drop shoulder with a slight crop places i buy my hoodies from are abercrombie but there's plenty of other places you can get gray hoodies from it just depends on the style that you like now as for jackets you'll definitely want two black jackets you want one puffer so when it gets really cold and the nips are hard af you can throw that on and it's gonna warm you up second you'll need a more dapper looking jacket so that you can throw that out with your more sophisticated outfits things like maybe a black bomber jacket or a wool overshirt like this one. For these types of items, I find Zara and River Island have a really nice selection. You also want a nice overcoat, whether it's black, gray, or beige, the overcoat is an absolute essential staple for looking fashionable in the colder months. Now onto shoes, my favorite part. You need a pair of white leather sneakers. And if you don't have a pair of white leather sneakers, unsubscribe to my channel, dog. What are you doing? No, I'm just joking, don't do that. <laughs> but if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to hit 100K by the end of the year. That would be the best way to end off the year. I'd really appreciate it. Like I was saying, white leather sneakers are an absolute essential. You've got so many different choices. You've got the Reebok Club C's, Air Force Ones, New Balance 550, Stan Smith, or even common projects if you're balling out. Second, you'll need at least one pair of dress shoes, whether you go for a tan one or a black one depends on what type of color you tend to wear. If your suits are blue, then you go for a tan one, but if your suits are black, obviously the black one is the best choice. And that's all the essentials that you need to build a timeless wardrobe. And now, once you have that foundation, you can get some of your more trendy items and you can throw that all in together to create your own style and you'll always look good.